getting my wisdom teeth taken out today. Today, it's happening. I'm tired, but I'm nervous, and I don't know. I'm hungry. <laughs> I really hope this goes well. I'm legit, like, terrified, so. Pray for us, sis. Although, you're gonna see the whole thing by the time you're watching this, so. We're on our way, and these wisdom teeth is gonna get yanked. See you at the hospital. starting to get really nervous, like, really nervous. I got a purple gown though. That's a good sign. Yes. So I'm trying to eat and I'm trying to keep food out of it and I'm also just really tired but I'm hungry and with the medicine that I'm taking I have to eat but when I eat if I do anything wrong in my mouth it hurts so this is definitely like very difficult so this is where we're at Cream of rice, very little scoop. I try to tilt my head back and just I'm tilt my head this way so I don't get it over there. I need my llama for this. This is very stressful. I'm gonna try to finish this within the next two hours. I have not eaten anything today except for ow. I have not eaten anything today except for two sips of apple juice, three sips of water, and I'm just now trying to eat this cream of rice. The bowl was about two thirds full, so I made good progress considering how many holes are in my mouth right now. I'm trying to not get it, I'm trying to not get any of this in that bottom left hole because it really hurts. The pain on this side is at about a 5 right now, but when I get food in it, it goes up to like 8, and it really hurts. So, fun times. After I eat, I'm going to rinse my mouth out, and then I'll probably put some gauze in, and I'll probably brush my teeth like extremely carefully. And then I want to put the gauze back in. Take my penicillin and try to go to sleep. 
Swelling's not too bad. I am still swollen around here, but it went down a lot. So I've been keeping the ice on. I'm just very tired. I'm so tired. And I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I'm trying to figure my life out. We'll see how tomorrow goes. Alright, so I'm doing the saltwater rinse. Just literally salt and water. Um, I'm just taking a sip and just letting it like swish around in my mouth. So I'm just holding it and then going one side and the other side. And then I just kind of let it fall out of my mouth into the sink. So I'm not gonna like show myself doing that. But just know that I just did that. I did that three times. Now I'm going to attempt to brush my teeth. And obviously I'm not gonna hit anywhere back here. I will probably scream and jump off the balcony if I do that. So we're gonna avoid that. I think I'll floss a little bit too. Just do as much as I can without overdoing it. So here we go. I can't spit because that will irritate the holes. So I gotta remember that. And I'm really tired. And I'm just at the point where like, I'm afraid of this hurting more and I'm afraid of it preventing me from sleeping. So I'm going to try to hurry up and get this done, and get it done carefully. So, I'm going to brush my teeth now, and just do it very carefully. So, since I can't actually spit into the sink, I just let the toothpaste kind of run out of my mouth and then I put my mouth kind of under the faucet kind of like a, a drinking fountain I just kind of let it fill as much as it could and then just kind of let it run out now another idea that I had was to just kind of fold up some paper towels and just stick them in there and let the rest of everything else just kind of soak up so that's what I'm doing now and that oh, that actually works surprisingly well so good I'm going to do another salt water rinse maybe one or two just to get make sure it's as clean as possible with limited cleaning abilities in the back of my mouth so another salt water rinse and I might, I might put some gauze in I don't know it depends on if there's bleeding going on still so we'll see I'm finding that this paper towel trick is really helping a lot because I can't spit really and they say like don't spit rigorously but like I don't know when I'm brushing my teeth and like I'm spitting like I make sure I'm cleaning everything out of my mouth so I'm just assuming that I spit rigorously and I'm just avoiding it because I don't want to mess anything up or delay any of this healing going on so this paper towel trick is helping me a lot so yay for that all right so it definitely looks less like a murder scene coming out of my mouth which is great um, I could tell that the bleeding is really going down 
which is really good. Um, I feel good about that. I have looked inside of my mouth a few times to just see the gaping holes that are there. I didn't get stitches because all of my wisdom teeth actually came in. And so here was the situation, because I don't know if I explained this or not, but my wisdom teeth came in pretty much straight. Like these two came in straight, this one came in straight, and this one just went buck wild. I don't know where it thought it was going, I don't know who it thought it was, or whose mama it came from, but this tooth came in like this. Now it wasn't it wasn't the worst impacted tooth the oral surgeon has ever seen because I'm sure he's seen some things. But it was like my my tooth right in front of this wisdom tooth obviously was straight. And then the and then the wisdom tooth came in and basically like sucker punched this tooth so it came in instead of coming in straight like all the other ones it came in like this like with the left hook to my regular tooth and so sometimes I would get a little bit of sensitivity in between those two teeth and so that is the area of my mouth now that hole that's the area that's causing me the most pain so it is better I was able to finish my cream of rice, which I'm thankful for because that was literally the only thing I ate today other than a couple sips of apple juice and water. I'm guessing that was about maybe 350 calories um, that I ate today, which is not good. So I need to try to definitely eat more tomorrow which will be easier, I hope, but we'll see, because I've heard that days, days two and three are kind of like the worst, so we'll see. I have painkillers, I have ice, so I'm hoping that I can just eat more tomorrow and get some good rest tomorrow. So that's the plan. The toothbrushing wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Uh, I definitely don't feel like my mouth is as clean um, just because I know how I brush like I get up in there when I'm brushing so I but I, I'm glad that I was able to do what I did so um, the salt water really helped like I'm not gonna lie I might even do that one more time before bed because I actually really helped this like a lot I also took um, a painkiller before bed so it might be that too but just having that salt water on this side of my mouth it felt so good definitely gonna be doing that on the regular tomorrow so I'm gonna go to bed I'm very tired my pain is at about a two right now on this side it's a zero it's a zero here it's like it was pretty much a zero here but here is at about a two, so I'll take a two over anything higher. This is surgery day, so I will see you tomorrow. Good night. We're on day two. So this is day two. My pain was at about a one. It's been at about a one uh, on this side uh, pretty much the whole morning. Uh, it's the kind of pain, though, like if I think about it, then I can start to feel it, but like if I'm I'm just sitting here working now and like as I'm working it, it doesn't bother me, so I'm happy about that. I'm happy that it's not really a problem, but whenever the pain starts to shoot up I have my little ice pack here. I just put that on for about five to ten minutes and then um, I'll leave that on and then give myself a little break once I get too cold. So just update on today, I was able to eat a smoothie pretty easily. I'm sure I'll insert clips of what I ate so far. So I was able to eat a smoothie, it was just uh, peanut butter, peanut butter protein powder, and some banana and cashew milk. 
really good. It really hit the spot. I was still hungry after that, so a couple hours later I had some cream of rice. It was the same cream of rice that I was attempting to eat last night. It took me two hours to eat that stuff last night, but um, I had more today, and it was a lot easier to get down, so I'm very happy about that. Um, I did take my medications. I did take... Uh, my probiotic again because as soon as I were I woke up this morning my stomach was killing me and I think it was because like I didn't eat enough yesterday because I was just not feeling well at all and yet I still had to take the painkillers so I think that kind of messed with my stomach so I did take my probiotic I do have to take my vitamins today so I can I can start all my vitamins again because I wasn't able to take them for the last couple days because with the anesthesia and everything that I had to go through, they kind of said for pre-op we don't want you taking any supplements. So I can now start that again. And just to help with my stomach and the digestion, I can finally drink my probiotic water, <laughs> this karma blueberry lemonade probiotic water. I drank these a couple years ago um, when I started working on my digestion and they're just really good and it's really it's really good really refreshing it's vegan it's 20 calories uh, I tried to drink this last night it also has vitamins in it vitamin E vitamin B6 B12 vitamin A so uh, so I grabbed one of those last night at the hospital and I just I couldn't drink it it was just too much it was just too much pain so I can drink it today I've um, been drinking regular water too I took the gauze out last night and um, yeah I was okay I was okay like the bleeding is the, the bleeding is like pretty much done I might have a little bit more like when I rinsed my mouth out after eating and um, I just did another salt water rinse after eating and um, there's just a little bit of blood but it's, it was nothing like it like it was yesterday so I'm glad about that so everything is really healing it's just um, sometimes the pain sh shoots up a little bit so I'm probably gonna put some ice back on and um, yeah I'm just working I'm doing some email design and some social media stuff for my job so I'm just gonna be on the computer pretty much the whole day which is nice so I'm gonna be doing that and I'm sure I'll check in the next time I eat so I gotta get some work done before I fall asleep before these painkillers knock me out so <laughs> I'll check in later all right still on day two in the afternoon starting to feel some pain. I would say it's between a 2 and a 3, but it's more than it was this morning, so I'm just putting the ice on. It's still working on my computer, but um, still tired, but just trying to keep, um, trying to stay on top of the pain and keep it from getting worse, so ice. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon. I'm having some lunch. This is probably, I don't know, this is going to be harder to eat, I think, but I'm going to try it. So, we got some lentil soup here. And I'm basically just going to melt the bread in the bowl until it gets pretty soggy. I'm pretty hungry, so... I'm going to try to eat this as much as I can. Uh, the pain is... It's still about the same. It's between like a 1 and a 3. It kind of fluctuates. So I've been icing it, but I'm hungry. So I'm going to try to eat this. Mash the bread up once it gets a little bit soggier. And yeah, I'll probably check back in in a bit. This is day to lunch. Alright, so the pain is stayed at about two or three. 
I've been icing it on and off. Still hungry, so about to eat these potatoes. Just gonna mash them up and eat those. So this is, I guess, I guess this is the rest of lunch or a snack. I don't know, but I'm gonna eat these. They look really good. All right, so I had another cream of rice for dinner. My pan is at like a three. It went up. I don't know why. It just went up. So I took another painkiller. It's still at a three. So I'm icing it on and off five to ten minutes. And I'm going to have some ice cream. Hold on. Chocolate cookies and cream. Dairy-free vegan stuff. I'm annoyed because I'm in more pain than I was in this morning, but I'm sure once I sleep, I'll feel better. So that will probably be it for tonight. Gonna drink some water. I got a fancy water today. And then I drank that probiotic water earlier. And then I drink some regular water too. So there's that. I'm tired. I look tired. Goodbye. What's up? Day three. My throat is very sore today. I feel like I'm like getting sick, but I think it's just from the tube that they put down there to help me breathe and whatnot, so my throat was just really sore. It started getting pretty bad last night and then today it was just like, ouch. So I have some tea right there, some throat coat tea. I'm sure I'll be refilling that. I've been drinking some water. I took my vitamins. I took one of my medications. One I have to take on an empty stomach, and then the other one I'm going to take with food. So I've got some cream of rice right here with some yogurt and some sugar-free stevia. Lots of cream of rice. So this is my first meal today. I'm going to try to get this down, finish that tea, and just keep drinking water. I don't know if I said I took my vitamins, but I took some of my vitamins. I still have to take my probiotic, and then I have to take my other medication, so... I might end up taking a nap today. Today's Friday, I've got some work to do. Um, I'm gonna do as much as I can, but I'm just really... I feel like it's hitting me harder now than it was yesterday, so... It might be like a... Like a like a delayed kind of soreness. You know, like when you work out, you feel okay, and then later on you feel like crap. So I think this is like me feeling like crap after all that stuff that happened on Wednesday. So today's Friday. I'm going to eat and just do what I can today. My throat really hurts, so. Um, and like it's starting to get just like sore. It's not so much like pain but it's just very uncomfortable so here we go i'm gonna eat my food drink my tea and hope that this gets better ate more ice cream in bed just my throat really hurts <clears throat> It's a different kind of pain. It's not the pain I had yesterday. It's not the pain I had on Wednesday. I haven't eaten lunch yet. I'm hungry, but I'm in pain. So I'm in that weird place where it's like, I want to eat, but I also don't want to eat. We love that. So I'm going to try to make some more tea. I'm just, I'm very like drowsy. Like, like, I'm not dizzy. I'm just like drowsy. 
I would say my pain is at like a four. It's so weird because it's a different kind of pain. It's just like a gnawing pain. And it's kind of like, it's kind of throbbing. I'm gonna put ice on. And yeah, I don't know. Tea, I'm gonna make some tea. I'm gonna grab some ice. And I'm gonna just sit down. Slight change of plan. No tea right now. Uh, what is happening to me? I don't know. I feel like I might puke. But I don't think I've eaten enough to actually puke. What is happening to my body? This is what my life has come to today. I am too drowsy to get up and actually make a proper can of soup or anything like that. I'm just, I'm too exhausted. I'm just too tired to even eat this. But I'm gonna try. It's literally like quick noodles. And I don't even think I can eat the noodles right now. I think I'm just gonna attempt to drink some of this broth once it cools down. I put aluminum foil over it so that the noodles get as soft as possible. But I don't plan on eating the noodles. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. I am out of my mind right now. I need to get off of this camera. I'm out of my mind. If I eat it, I'll let you know. If I don't, I'll let you know. I took a nap. I'm not feeling any better. I just feel uncomfortable. I'm gonna eat my food. Probably go back to sleep. Ate my dinner. Pain is a little bit better. I took some more medicine. More ice cream. Yay for ice cream. Day four, first meal is more cream of rice with yogurt and some cinnamon and some stevia. So pain is at about a three. It's like a throbbing pain. It's not a sharp pain. So that's good. Throat feels a little bit better. Uh, just really drowsy and tired from the painkillers. So I'm gonna eat this and probably go to sleep. Also regrets. Hello. So today has been pretty frustrating mentally. I um, woke up this morning and I just had a nagging pain. I just think I just think as it heals it's just gonna be like a nagging pain as the holes close up so I'm um, just trying to get used to that mentally um I've been taking my painkillers uh I think they're helping like my other teeth are just starting to hurt I think it's just overall my mouth hurts um and it's just like a really it's a low grade pain so it's not like a sharp pain it's not unbearable it's just like always there so it's annoying, like mentally, it's annoying. So, um, I think the last time I got on here, I had breakfast, I had cream of rice, I did some video editing, and then I was just exhausted. So I went to sleep. I slept for a while. I uh, woke up a couple hours ago. 
I actually had to get up and make myself some food. So I'm going to attempt to eat this uh, potato chili. I basically just boiled some potatoes. I threw some uh, vegan chili on top of it. Some It's, it's uh, Amy's brand vegan chili. It has some tofu in it. Good source of protein. Some beans in there. And then I put some of my homemade queso sauce on top of that. So potato, chili, homemade queso. I'm going to try to eat that and drink my fancy water I got here. Another fancy water. I will check back in if I eat anything else. It's another low calorie day today. I just, I've been sleeping and just mentally tired. So uh, I'm going to try to eat some more. But I'll check in later. Day five, I think. I'm still swollen. It was hurting a lot last night. It was at like a five, six last night. I'm mentally tired. I might actually fall back asleep. It's healing, it's just annoying. I'll probably also try some more solid food today. That chili thing I ate last night for dinner was actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie but I'm trying to eat more solid food today and I will show you what I eat once I get up and get ready for today but that moment is not right now I'm still very tired <laughs> peace out <laughs> All right, so after going through and editing that video, I had to get cute, you know, because sis was having a rough time. <laughs> All right, so it has been about three weeks since I had my extraction, since I had all four of my wisdom teeth removed. So um, it's been about three weeks and basically recovery did get better overall after that. I did have a couple rough patches here and there. There were certain foods that I was kind of afraid to eat. So like my high protein cereal that I made a video about a while ago, I, I only started eating that recently, maybe like not even a week ago, just because I really didn't want to get into foods that I knew would just be a lot rougher in general on my mouth. Recovery did progress a lot better as time went on. So even though my oral surgeon said that the extraction was pretty straightforward and easy, and even though I didn't need stitches or anything like that, he wasn't like the most empathetic guy in the world. Like he basically just like did the procedure, wasn't around for afterwards when I had questions and things like that post-op. And so he was just like out of there. So I mean, I get it. Like he probably had other things that he needed to do, but I definitely did say that I would want to talk to him afterwards and I guess he just decided he didn't have time for that. So that was not a great experience, like his bedside manner and like working with the people he's operating on. I mean, at least for me, I did not have a good experience with him in that area. But I must say that as far as just like getting the job done, getting in and out in the same day, like it, he made it happen. So I appreciate that and just that 
everything is looking good still clean and the holes are just getting smaller and smaller and things like that i was a little bit upset that i had like these gaping holes in the back of my mouth afterwards i'm like why wouldn't he stitch that up especially on this side the one that was impacted i thought for sure because that hole was just so much bigger than the other ones i thought for sure he would you know try to stitch that up but nah nah and of course like with any surgery like I knew there would be blood but I was just not prepared okay for the amount of blood that was coming out of me after it and I'm just I don't do super great with large amounts of blood like that I mean it was everybody was saying like oh this it's normal like it'll subside and things like that but you know just everything started going through my mind of like what could go wrong what if the bleeding doesn't stop what if i get dry sockets what if some, what if i eat the wrong thing and then i'm in pain you know so i just the blood just triggered a whole series of <laughs> of other things that could go wrong but i think for the most part the bleeding stopped like while i was still at the hospital like in the recovery area because i stayed there for a few hours because the pain started coming back and I actually needed more painkillers which meant I needed more observation before they could release me. That was fun. But the bleeding did stop pretty much later on that night before I went to bed which was which was great. So I mean the hardest part honestly for me was just the healing process. Like as far as the needles and stuff like yeah didn't like any of that. The IV stuff was not a fan. But, I mean, once that was in and out, that was kind of over, once the teeth were yanked out, like, that was over, it, it really is just the recovery that is the worst part, and it's obviously the part that takes the longest, and mentally, it was the part that was just the hardest for me to get through, like, overall. It's, it's no joke, the healing really does take time. And there was a day where I think it was maybe like a week, maybe a week and a half in, I don't remember exactly, but I wanted to get back into my heavy lifting. And I knew I wasn't going to be able to do like heavy training. I knew it was going to be like highly modified, very lightweights. And so I tried to do like some trap bar deadlifts, really reduce my weight on them. And I just felt my mouth like... It was like that nagging pain, but just at like a level one or two. But I could just feel like it was just pressure around that area. And it just like, it, I wasn't ready for that. And it was really frustrating because it's like I'm working out, <laughs> you know, my legs, you know, my core and stuff like that. I'm not like doing any high intensity cardio or anything like that. So it just... It didn't make sense to me as to why I was feeling so much discomfort after well over a week. Why was I feeling so much discomfort when, you know, I I felt like I should have been ready to do that and I just wasn't. And I had to remember like, regardless of whether or not the procedure was simple or whether or not like, oh, this is a popular surgical thing that people get done. It's still surgery. Like, <laughs> I was still under anesthesia. I still had all these foreign substances in my body to keep me from jumping off of a cliff in pain, but it was still surgery. And so my body was just going through a whole lot of things, and I just needed to give it more time. So I just did a lot of walking. Eventually, I did a little bit of jogging, and then I attempted to do uh, some heavy lifting that didn't work out. So. I just did more walking. I mean, just um, taking it easy, stretching, still staying active. Like I'm not just gonna sit on my butt, like that's not my style, but I still stayed active just within the realm of what I could handle. And that really ended up benefiting me in the long run because this week has really been the first week where I've been able to lift heavier and I've been able to do more. Now I'm dealing with like, that soreness level that comes after you've taken a break from a certain kind of training and then you get back into it. I'm feeling that soreness, but I feel good about it. I'm glad that I feel that soreness. I'm glad that I'm able to get back into some of the things that I've been wanting to do for a while now. And even though I've had this little setback, I'm glad that the teeth are out. I'm glad that um, I can just move forward in my training. One really weird thing about this recovery process is that I was so nervous about like 
getting food back there in those uh, open spaces and in those holes that I actually like start you know I had to kind of learn how to like chew differently and stuff like that so now that I'm going back to eating more of my regular foods now it's so weird to like chew normally I know that sounds so weird but I feel like I still have it in my head where it's like oh you have to be careful like you know and like obviously I'm not gonna eat like a wild person but you know it's just like I'm thinking oh like be careful don't get anything in there don't like stab anything back there like my brain still thinks like that and sometimes if I do feel like some food or something go too far back I kind of like ooh, ooh, like I kind of freak out a little bit but it's like a mental thing like I feel like I'm I mean I the holes are still closing up now like they're not completely closed but they're just a lot better and a lot smaller obviously than they were three weeks ago so I still have that mentality though of like oh be careful like don't get anything in there but it's just weird it's really weird so yeah I was just grateful that you know my swelling went down really quickly I was annoyed that I couldn't train the way that I wanted to but I really had to give myself the time to rest I needed the time to rest anyway like even if I didn't have surgery like I needed some serious rest time and so I'm glad that I was kind of forced to take that because now that I'm getting back into heavier training I can tell that I've been rested like I'm not going in with my body completely pooped out I'm going in rested and just ready to ready to really just like pick up my game when it comes to getting stronger and just ready to try new stuff and put on a little bit more muscle because Honestly, the more that I tried to do while I was recovering, the worse I felt. So even when it came down to like doing chores and basic stuff around the house, it's like I'm trying to keep up with the house, keep up with my job, make sure that the foods I'm eating are, make sure I'm making foods that are okay for me to eat with like where I was in my recovery and stuff like that, keeping up with activity and training and whatnot, like just trying to do the stuff that I did before and trying to do everything too soon, the worse I felt. Like I was so tired and just so, and, and then that delays the recovery process, which is so counterintuitive. So there were just some days where I just needed naps. So I took those and there's some days where I just needed to like step away from the computer screen. So I did that because I just needed the rest and I just needed to close my eyes. Even if I wasn't asleep, I just needed to just have my eyes closed and just eventually fall asleep. <laughs> so another thing with the training that I was thinking about during my recovery phase is that with my training, I went through that long process of training for the Chicago Marathon for however many months. And so I'm sure I lost a little bit of strength from that because I was doing so much more cardio than heavy lifting. And then I had a small period of time where I was getting back into my regular training and upping my weights and then I did this whole wisdom tooth removal thing which set me back from heavy lifting and so now I'm back into heavy lifting so there's really a period of quite a few months where my heavy lifting training in particular has been impacted by other things going on and that's totally fine I mean that's life like it happens and I was approaching a plateau anyway like right before I went into um, the Chicago Marathon training I was kind of hitting some strength plateaus feeling kind of fatigued in certain areas and so I think it was actually good for me to switch up my training the way I did because I did need just to enter a different phase of training and so I do plan on making a video about that I know in my last video uh, somebody had requested that I talk about plateaus and training and what I do around working around that kind of stuff and so I totally plan on doing that and maybe even including some workout moves that I do and just styles of training that I do when I feel like I'm coming up on a plateau um, I really am focusing on phasing out my training and so I'll explain a lot more of that in that other video when it comes out but yeah so this is three weeks after my wisdom tooth extraction surgery it sucked but <laughs> I'm glad I did it I'm glad it's over I'm glad recovery like the tail end of this recovery process is going really well I'm pretty much eating 
everything that I've eaten before. I think with my protein cereal, I just, um, when I pour the milk in, I think I just let it sit for a little bit so that the granola part of the cereal gets just a little bit soggier so it's not so rough. And so I think that's pretty much the only, pretty much the only thing um, that I've done differently. Yeah, so three weeks in and things are going well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this little update that I put at the end of the video. Since this was looking busted for most of the video, I had to get a little bit cute this time. You know what I'm saying? So I hope you had fun. And yeah, leave a comment down below. Let me know, have you gotten your wisdom teeth removed? Did you not have wisdom teeth? Can you believe some people just like don't even have to deal with this at all because they don't even get wisdom teeth? Like, what are those DNA strands looking like? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so let me know what your experience was, if you have gone through this, if you had surgery, if you just sat in the chair and had the dentist yank them out while you were still awake. Like, <laughs> I'm kind of interested in these stories now because I was watching a ton of wisdom tooth removal videos before I went in and got my stuff done, which I'm glad I did because mentally I feel like I was more prepared. I'm not that kind of person where I'm like, oh, I don't want to know, I don't want to know. No, tell me everything. Like, I want to know. What did you go through? How much gauze did you put in your mouth? <laughs> how did you feel afterward? Like, how many pounds of potatoes were you eating? How much potatoes were you eating? You know what I'm saying? Like, tell me. Do not leave stuff out. So, <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this video. Drop a comment down below. Let me know your wisdom tooth story if you have one. Also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I did post a wisdom tooth survival guide menu and just a lot of the things that I ate while I was going through this whole recovery process. So be sure to check that out to see that to see that reel or that video and to just see a bunch of the other goofy stuff that I post on there too. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, we love having more peeps join our crew. And so let me know of any other video ideas you might wanna see. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video very soon. Bye! You know, I honestly feel great without my wisdom teeth. I thought I would miss them because, you know, they're like a part of me and all that. But I feel pretty good without them. Got a little bit of extra space in my mouth and stuff like that. So, yeah, I just feel a little bit more free, you know? And plus, like I said, that one side, it was given like a strong left hook to my molar back there. So, it was just a lot, a lot of violence on that side, you know, so you just, just gotta get rid of the violence. Not cool. I think it's past my bedtime. <laughs>